Hi everyone and welcome to another Weebly Wizard tutorial. Today we're going to be having a quick look at landing pages and the concept of bringing marketing activity to your website. So a landing page basically is an area on your website that you've directed people to that's for a specific reason. Um, a landing page can direct people for um, specific information about an offer or something that you're trying to promote for another cause. So in this instance here I've set one up just quickly on my website um, and as you can see, it's basically set up like a, a bit of a members uh, discount area. So I've created a few things on this page just as an example, and I'll, uh, I'll talk you through each of them just briefly now. So at the top, I've uh, created a bespoke banner for this page specifically. Um, now, this page isn't available to everybody who comes to my website. So it's very important to remember this is just a landing page that people get directed to once they click on a specific link. So an example of this might be an email campaign that I've sent out and the people who receive the email and want information about the offer that I'm advertising will click on the link in that email and this is the page that it takes them to, hence a landing page because they land on it. You'll notice a few things. So firstly at the top I've created a custom banner for this page. I've matched the color scheme of the, uh, of the theme and uh, just, just put in some basic kind of promotional uh, information. Welcome to our exclusive members area and 25% discount this month only. The beauty of having a landing page is you've got complete control. So as soon as this month's over and my discount expires, the page comes off, nobody can land on it. I can also add terms and conditions to the page that are specific to this uh, particular campaign. On the left, I've created a join today, um, little kind of um, f a few fields just in a form just to encourage them to add their information so I can send them further details about um, ex existing promotions or future promotions. So this uh, this form, a couple of things to remember, like I've mentioned last time, keep the uh, keep the fields very short, keep them sweet. We just want the name and an email address and submit. I'll take you to the um, the page that I actually created this on. Um, you can see I've just called it landing page. Um, I've used uh, just a bit of a banner kind of set up at the top of the page and I've also hidden it from all navigation. Very important to remember to do that. Um, also in the advanced settings here, you can choose to not have it show up in uh, search engines. Um, if you don't want it to come up in Google searches in future, it just might get you into a bit of trouble if people find it, you know, a year after it's expired with the offer um, and they try and claim it. So I'd probably tick that one as well. So if we go back to uh, the editing of this page and we'll have a bit of a look. So um, I've um, with the submit button, I've also uh, allocated that to a specific email. Um, and if you have an, a, a domain name that you own, you can create variations of that as an email address. So um, you could have info at your domain name as an email address or sales or support as an example of a few main ones. You can also have them industry specific or campaign specific. So in this instance, I might have discounts at weeblywizard.com or special offers at, um, and that lands at my, at my uh, specific inbox page. Um, and I can keep track of those and they're independent of everything else I received. It also makes your, your website and um, the face of your business look a little bit more professional. Um, I've also added, this is an example of a, of a jump out box, um, a little information box that you can use on all your websites and forms. Um, I encourage you to do this. So things, uh, an example of one of these might be if you're asking for a phone number, um, you can just remind your users there to include the area code um, of their phone number. A lot of people don't remember that and you don't know who you're calling. So um, just a couple of little tips there. And then on the right hand side, I've just got an analysis of the benefits, why you should join, and um, just a few bullet points. Um, and basically, that's what I've created on my uh, web page here. So it's very simple, very quick to do, um, very easy little landing page. Um, a couple of other things I wanted to mention, and I'll probably cover this off in my next tutorial or the one after, um, and that is um, a website that I've covered a couple of times, but um, I really think it's a, it's a fantastic email client and it's something that you should get into, and that's MailChimp. So, MailChimp take this to the next level. So MailChimp basically is um, is a service that will send emails for you on your behalf and run your kind of email campaigns. Um, but the beauty of MailChimp is that it's very easy to set up the email templates, make them look good. It's got drag and drop functionality and, and it's a bit WYSIWYG, such as Weebly. So those of you who use Web Weebly websites will be used to this. And basically um, it's a free service. There are pricing tiers, but MailChimp will uh, give you the opportunity to adhere to all spam laws, which is very important. So I'll cover this in a future tutorial, um, but just a, a brief look at kind of the, the costs and things involved. So basically, if you have uh, fewer than 2000 subscribers, you can send 12,000 emails and that's per month. That's not in total, that's per month. And it's absolutely free as it says there. There are monthly plans, but once you start getting into these kind of 
um, these kind of figures, you're probably um, a relatively big business. So um, I'll take you through MailChimp and what it can do. I use it extensively for a few businesses. It's a really handy tool and we'll have a look at that. But MailChimp also provide you with forms for people to subscribe to your newsletters that you can put on your landing page. It will create the form for you. It will give you the HTML code. You simply go into, uh, into Weebly, you drag your custom HTML field down here and you just paste in the code here. It's as simple as that. That's all you've got to do. Um, and then people who subscribe to your, um, to your email newsletter on this page using the, the, uh, the MailChimp form, that will automatically put them in your MailChimp database and it's all, um, it's all legitimate. They can see that they've actually asked for the information at one point and more importantly than anything, it gives them an opportunity to unsubscribe, which is very important. Um, and it's, um, it's a piece of legislation that they brought in, so you need to have an unsubscribe on all your email newsletters if you're sending them out. So that's a couple of things we looked at today. Um, plenty more where this came from. We're going to have a look at MailChimp in a future tutorial probably uh, later this week or next week. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't and click the like button below and thanks for watching.